Hey everybody, Joe Baker here with the Edit Bay. Today, we're gonna to take a look at speeding up your post-production workflow with keyboard shortcuts. If you're new to video editing and you'd like to learn more about the capabilities of your editing app, learning the keyboard shortcuts is the perfect place to start. In addition to learning the most efficient way of working, you'll learn about the various features of your NLE. So really quick, I'm going to share a handful of shortcuts that I use on a regular basis. Now I'm here in Premiere Pro CC 2015, but a lot of these are the same across the various editing apps out there. For example, the J, K, and L keys. The J, K, and L keys will play forward, pause, and reverse scrub on your timeline. Now, if you double tap the key, it'll play forward faster. So if I double tap the L key, I'm going to move a little bit faster here. This, by the way, is slow motion footage, so I know it doesn't look like it's going too fast. If I double tap the J key, it'll play backwards a little bit faster. You need to duplicate a clip on your timeline. Just select the clip, hold down the Alt key, left click, and drag. Now, let's talk about transitions. Your NLE shipped with a long list of video transitions, and 99% of them are really lame and therefore useless. In Premiere, and you really have to go menu diving in Premiere to find these, you'd have to go to Effect, come over here to Video Transitions, down, scrub down here, maybe if you want to dissolve, which is the one actually useful transition over here in the menu. Um, you can see this little blue box around here. That means that it's selected as a default transition. And once you have a default transition, Come over here, take a look at your track targeting and make sure that the clip that you want to add a transition to is selected over here where it says V1. Now if I just hit Control D, it'll add a def excuse me, it'll add a default transition to that clip. If you hit Control Shift D, it will add a default audio transition to your timeline. And again, the audio transitions over here, if I come search for these, audio transitions, crossfade, this constant power ships by default as your default. Um, audio transition. And by the way, to change any of these, if you simply right click on one, you can set it as your default transition. Lastly, if you search for a keyboard shortcut for zooming in and out of your timeline, in Premiere Pro, you'll likely find that the plus and minus keys will do the trick. So I can hit the plus key, I can hit the minus key. But I much prefer to hold down the alt key and then roll the mouse wheel. And assuming that your timeline is selected, rolling the mouse wheel without holding the alt key will move you left and right down the timeline. All right, these are just a couple of examples of how keyboard shortcuts can improve your post-production workflow. It's worth mentioning that most NLEs will allow you to customize keyboard shortcuts and even assign hotkeys to functions that don't have hotkeys by default. So I hope you found these tips useful. If you'd like more quick tips like this for post-production techniques, please subscribe to the Edit Bay. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the box below. I'll see you next time.